All right, thanks for joining us, everybody. We're live here from the KFES Digital News Desk. Sydney Waters with us today, uh, BBB Regional Director. Sydney, how are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Clayton. Absolutely, absolutely. We are uh, glad to have you here. Um, and we're looking today at some of the kind of particulars of how scammers may be looking at different media or social media platforms, how they may be a approaching those. Um, and kind of, you know, how it's specific to different things, what, what kind of scam warnings, what kind of red flags you should be looking for. Um, starting off with that, you know, one of the spaces that you expect to be fairly, you know, cleaned up fairly professional is LinkedIn. And, you know, the, the scam possibility is, isn't, isn't you know, excluded from being being on that site, right? Correct, and and you hit the nail on the head there, Clayton, saying you expect LinkedIn to be very professional, very safe, things of that nature, yeah. and scammers jump right on that feeling. So what we're seeing a lot with the LinkedIn scams, phishing, that sort of thing, is you're feeling very secure because you're seeing a LinkedIn page created for a company, and then you have these employment scams pop up. And you're gonna wanna look for things like very flexible hours, very high pay with no experience, um, maybe a profile that was recently created, things of that nature. But many times they will get you to release your personal information with no job or career in your future. Yeah, I could, yeah, definitely make sense when you start to think about it, all the things that usually go into applying to a job, what, what comes in whenever you're you know, onboarding, if it is onboarding, then yeah. Then Absolutely dangerous stuff but um yeah as we as we go along here um you know facebook is one of those where you know maybe maybe people is might, they might expect it <laughs> going on yes. facebook more and more but uh, yeah what do you see there what's the usual uh, hot spots for that so Facebook is probably one of the most widely used social media platforms. Mm -hmm. So we do see the scams that you anticipate, like the um, Facebook selling group scams or the marketplace scams as well that will direct you to either releasing personal information or perhaps getting on a phone call where your voice is recorded or maybe even um, purchasing items with gift cards. So those are all kind of the ones you would expect. But what we've really been seeing lately are the impersonation scams, and those really play Play on people's heartstrings so oh, you know yeah. making a fake account impersonating an aunt or an uncle faking a disaster needing money in a pinch those sort of things so really think of that point of contact how you usually speak to these people who are reaching out to you and see if that seems off sure and maybe this is just anecdotal but it seems like more and more the some of the more inactive accounts that, you know, family, uh, friends, community members that I'm connected to that, I, you know, you don't see post a lot or anything like that. Those those are the ones that seem to be kind of replicated uh, and people will send you those friend requests and, and um, pretend to be these people. And then, you know, so I guess that, that you might... I guess assume they're getting active. I don't know exactly, but it's, it's, it seems like that's the, the, the trend. Exactly, and, and you have to think, these are real people looking for cues like that. Like yeah. this person is not active on social media. I can very easily take their pictures, replicate this account, yeah. and reach out to their family members. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, and Instagram, you know, of course, being this visual, uh, very visual social media platform, um, what do you see there as far as red flags to look for? Exactly. And with Instagram being so visual, people like to um, use services, contractors, things of that nature based on images. Sure. So what we're seeing are these companies that are not real, um, stealing these beautiful images, like say from contractor work or even like workout routines, oh, yeah. um, physical results, and then putting this out as their own work, getting you to subscribe to a monthly payment plan, and then they have all of your information for your bank account. Oh yeah, that uh, yeah, I definitely could see that happening. Yeah, just the the masquerade of it all that you can really put on on Instagram or any of these. Really, it's a it's a yeah danger. Um, definitely. And TikTok, of course, is one of those where um, very popular. Also, kind of one of those that uh, you know, you know, whether it's challenges that young people may be doing or anything like that. That's always a side thing. But uh, as far as the scams go, what do you see there? What uh, what builds up on TikTok? So 
TikTok is on the rise right now, and that's because TikTok plays into um, our youngest generations especially. So really what we're seeing are lots of product reviews, um, influencers, people coming up with these business plans, things of that nature, and then they're taking you to an external marketplace to purchase products that don't actually exist. We're also seeing a lot of um, cryptocurrency scams mm. in TikTok. Um, think of like pyramid schemes, things of that nature, and they want you to quickly invest for monetary gains. Yeah. Um, so really playing with these uh, younger generations who just aren't familiar with purchasing online or any kind of scams of this nature. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's interesting because tr I, I, I try to follow you know some of the about the organic marketing side of TikTok, the idea that it could be a place that different folks are growing businesses, but also. Um, you know, having that level of skepticism about whether the product that you're seeing is, is their own, is if it's real, you know, and that sort of thing. It's always always a healthy thing. <laughs> Absolutely. And one thing I, I thought was very interesting, one of the scams that the younger generation um, they're falling into is these influencers will take photos or videos with large stacks of money, um, pretending like this is money that they made on yeah. these scams. So that's something to watch out for. If it's too flashy, it's probably a bad sign. Right, right. No, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right. Um, and Twitter, or or the artist formerly known as Twitter, right. uh, is now X. Um, what, it, what do we see there? What's, uh, what's, what's going on in, in this one? That obviously, already a, a social media platform that's very much in flux that uh, yeah yes and Twitter is um, an interesting one Clayton because it is very tailored to the person yeah um, Twitter the whole goal of Twitter is to give you a voice so these scammers and fishers are on the lookout for people who want a voice they have a lot of opinions and what they will do is send you a link to a survey mm -hmm. just to get your opinion your beliefs things of that nature and what that does is that unlocks your secret questions for your accounts your security questions things of that nature mm -hmm. so you really need to think before you click on those surveys and start taking them what are they doing with this information that you're providing what's the purpose right no absolutely absolutely um, and then, of course, you know, as we mentioned, as far as the general tips, uh, how to avoid this sort of thing, uh, impersonation and, and compromised accounts, whether it's somebody taking over your account, too, that's always a, a big one, right? That uh, they could be actually getting the genuine article and, and then pretending to be you. But uh, Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, that goes with business impersonations, family impersonations, anyone asking you for unsolicited money. Pick up your phone, do another form of contact to make sure this is the same person and a legitimate person as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and safe shopping online. Uh, yeah, how, how does, how does one, what are the best practices there, best, uh, best options? We push this all the time, but anytime you shop online, um, definitely use a credit card. That's going to sure. be your most secure method. And then, you know, if there are any issues, you have a little leeway with getting your money back. Also, um, when shopping online, look for that secure URL up at the top. So it should be HTTPS for secure. And you should also see a small lock icon to show you that that's a secure payment method as well. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, Clayton, as we're talking about being secure online is you really just want to set all of your profiles to private right yeah. out the gate. Um, as we were talking about those security questions, yeah. anything on your profile, uh, like say your pets, your first job, things of that nature that scammers can pick up on, they may be able to hack into your security questions. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want your your dog's mother's maiden name floating around <laughs> right. out there or anything exactly. that yes. <laughs> people can get it. And so, um, but uh, um, so yeah, and and of course, as usual, it's uh, you know what what your posting can tip people off to you know different different clues to get into your stuff right absolutely and think about things like vacations if you're going to be out of town don't release those pictures or that information until you get back into town into town because people don't need to know you're not at your home it's true yes yeah absolutely all right and of course the bbb's website is a resource for all these sorts of things right to uh, check it out and, and know more absolutely we have a whole section on social media scams available right now and you can go to bbb.org and help protect yourself and your family all right sydney waters regional director of the bbb thank you so much for being here today thank sydney. You for having appreciate me. it and to our audience as well thank you all for tuning in we're going to turn it back over to local news live stick around we've got more coming up around the corner